Today we are recapping American Me, where a youth from the streets of East LA, starts a criminal organization from behind the gates of Folsom Prison, and becomes the leader of the Mexican Mafia, loosely based on true events. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. The movie begins as our protagonist, Montoya Santana, is processed into Folsom Prison, and reflects on the events of his past. The movie flashbacks to the 1940s, and we see a woman, Santana's mother, getting on a tram to meet her boyfriend in the city. She meets her friends, and they attend a local tattoo parlor, where Pedro, Santana's father, has got a tattoo. Unfortunately, a riot breaks out in the city, and soldiers bust into the parlor, getting a sexy favor from the woman, and beating up Pedro. Pedro is then taken away by the police, and we cut back to 1959, to see Santana as a teenager. Santana visits his home, seeing his father, and it's clear their relationship is strained. He leaves his home to meet JD, his best friend, and together they head to a graveyard to admit Mundo into their gang, La Primera. Their friend, Mundo, gets his gang tattoo, and is officially made a member of the gang. They leave the graveyard, and it's late at night, so they decide to take a shortcut through a rival gang territory. The rival gang is Hazard Grande, and while they walk through, a scout from the Hazard gang spots them, and alerts the others. A chase ensues, and the group lose them by breaking into a store. For a moment they think they're safe, but the store owner, wielding a shotgun, confronts them, shooting JD in the leg. We then see Mundo and Santana being processed in Juvenile Hall, and during the night, an inmate tries to get a sexy favor from Santana, but Santana fights back, killing the inmate. Santana now has respect in Juvenile Hall, and we then see JD being processed, before he is approached by the Whites, not knowing he's Chicano on the inside. Santana approaches them, and they reunite once more, so they begin walking the yard, however JD notices some rival gang members, but Santana explains that the gangs unite based on race, not on neighborhoods. The two then enjoy a game of handball, and we see that time has passed, and they are now in Folsom Prison. Their gang has now evolved into La M.A., the Mexican Mafia, and Santana gives the orders, while JD is his right-hand man. They run drug, gambling, extortion and prostitution rackets, and it is explained, that the gang was formed out of necessity for security. It's clear that the Mexican Mafia have control in Folsom Prison, as we see Santana attending a visit with his family, while JD is using his visit to smuggle contraband. His girlfriend leaves the table, and while in the bathroom, she flushes a package which is intercepted by Mafia members, who fish it out of the pipes. Later that day, Santana's gang distribute the drugs cell by cell, but an inmate steals some on the way, and is later killed for the theft, causing a race riot. The prison administration place Santana in solitary confinement as he is known as the head of the gang, so Santana organizes a meeting through a lawyer, where they discuss a new gang, the Nuestra Familia, who are making moves in other prisons, and beginning to gain influence in Folsom. We then cut to the yard, where Lil Puppet, a young gang member, is tattooing Pie Face. Pie Face is unaware however, that the tattoo is a ploy to assassinate him, and while his guard is down, one of Santana's henchmen, El Japo, shanks him multiple times, before the gang disperse leaving Pie Face to die. The gang then have a meeting about the remaining Nuestra Familia members in Folsom, and decide on another assassination, to send a message, and stop the Nuestra Familia's influence from growing any further. Santana decides that Lil Puppet will do the job, and Puppet, his older brother, begs Santana to let him do it instead, but Santana refuses. The night of the hit comes, and Lil Puppet manages to execute the target successfully, covering his tracks with the help of the gang. We then see JD being released from prison and after some time, Santana is also released. He is picked up by JD, and they discuss how they will expand the Mexican Mafia's operations on the outside, before attending a party later that night. Santana sees his father for the first time in years and the conversation is brief, as his father is disapproving of Santana's influence over his younger brother. At the party, Santana is socially awkward due to his time on the inside, but he meets an understanding lady named Julie, and they spark a love interest. The next day, Santana and JD meet an Italian mafia boss, Scagnelli, at his home in the hills. They advise him that they're taking over his drug operation, offering protection to Scagnelli's son, who is locked in Folsom, in exchange for his cooperation, but Scagnelli refuses, threatening retribution if anything happens to his son. 
Back at the prison, Scagnelli's son is working in the kitchen, and gets invited to drink some pruno with Santana's gang later that night. He accepts the invitation and attends, unaware that the party is a ploy to get him alone so he can be killed. Meanwhile, Santana's relationship with Julie blossoms, and they go out on a date, enjoying each other's company. Back at Folsom Prison, the Mexican Mafia are enjoying the prison wine, when finally they reveal that a woman will also be attending, to give them sexy favors. Scagnelli's son asks who the woman is, and they say that the woman is him, so the group jump him, and hold him down to get a sexy favor, before killing him. Back on the streets, Scagnelli is advised of his son's death, and decides to flood the drug market with pure uncut heroin, targeting Santana's community, and causing mass overdoses, including Julie's younger brother. The next day, Santana and his father attend his mother's grave, where Pedro reveals he always resented Santana because he might have been the result of the rape of his mother during the riots in the 40s, serving as a constant reminder of his mother's ordeal. We then see some young gang members processing drugs in a trap house, when they are suddenly stormed by armed gunmen, who force them to inhale the drugs, causing them to overdose. Suspecting Scagnelli, Santana visits El Japo in prison for information, and discover that the BGF, Black Gorilla family, were hired by the Italians to do the job. Outside the prison, Santana discusses the situation with JD, and they agree to hire the Aryan Brotherhood, to get revenge on the BGF. The Aryan Brotherhood storm a BGF club, armed to the teeth, destroying the property and brutally killing everyone inside. Meanwhile, Lil Puppet gets married, but after the wedding, he gets drunk, and starts to bring everyone down talking about prison life, so one of the Mafia members sit him down, and give him some heroin as a wedding present. Santana then decides to walk Lil Puppet home with Julie, as he's extremely drunk, and he gets sick on the way. He takes off his jacket and leaves, while Julie expresses her disapproval of Santana's lifestyle, so they argue. Suddenly, some police officers pull up and ask them for ID, but search Lil Puppet's jacket, finding the heroin. We then see Santana being processed, back in Folsom, and while in his cell, Puppet reveals that Lil Puppet is on a hit list, begging Santana to remove his name and spare his life. Santana assures Puppet that he'll take care of it and later, he has a visit with JD to cancel the hit on Lil Puppet, refusing to authorize the killing. JD shares his concerns that Santana has changed, that he's showing weakness, and the other members of the gang have noticed. Santana tells him that he is no longer interested in leading the gang, signing his own death warrant, and he leaves the visit. JD knows now, that Santana has to be killed and gives a signal to Mundo, who knows what must be done. Mundo then visits Puppet, advising him that the hit on his brother will go ahead, so he must kill his brother when he's released, giving him photos of his family, blackmailing him to do the job. We then see Santana writing a letter to Julie, while Puppet is released from prison, and back in the barrio, Santana's little brother, is tattooing another child. Meanwhile, Puppet and his brother are driving back from the prison, when Puppet tells his brother to pull over so he can relieve himself. While Lil Puppet has his back turned, Puppet pulls out a rope, strangling his brother, killing him for getting Santana locked up, and renouncing his affiliation with the Mexican Mafia. Meanwhile back at the barrio, the kid's tattoo is completed, and afterwards, they leave in a car, while Santana's father, Pedro, looks on, yelling at his son to come back, but he's ignored. Meanwhile at Folsom Prison, we see Mundo walking the tear to Santana's cell, before asking Santana if he's coming out. Santana exits his cell, and Mundo tells him that he's got too much heart, before the gang shank him multiple times from all directions, and throwing him off the tear, killing him instantly. Back in the barrio, we see Santana's little brother, driving the other kids through a rival neighborhood. They decide to give the child a gun, and tell him to kill someone, to complete his initiation. The child hangs out the window, looking at targets, then fires the gun, when the movie ends, and the cycle in the barrio continues. The film, American Me, is widely considered as a Chicano classic about gangs and prison life, and received a positive reception on its release despite its long-running time and graphic violence. Despite its positive reception however, it was surrounded by controversy due to its depiction of real-life Mexican Mafia members, and the sexy favor scene of Santana, which never happened. Santana was based on Rudy Cheyenne Cadena, a notorious Mexican Mafia boss, who was killed after being stabbed and bludgeoned by members of the Nuestra Familia. 
The character JD, was based on Joe Pegleg Morgan. Joseph Morgan was a Croatian-American man who became a member in 1968 while doing time in San Quentin State Prison. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a fantastic day.